Hello, welcome to Guillaume's Cuisine. In this video, I'm going to prepare a wheat grain salad. It's very tasty and rather high in protein. But if you're on a gluten-free diet, please stay away from this recipe. So, for this very summary salad we need around 200 grams of wheat grain, about 100 grams of mozzarella, 150 grams of tomatoes, 30 grams of shallots, and some basil leaves. For the dressing, I'm going to use one teaspoon of mustard, two of vinegar, about five of oil, as well as some salt and pepper. Wheat grain is very similar to dry beans in the sense that you have to leave it to soak overnight before you can boil it. However, I would advise you to check the instructions of the grain you're using because they may vary from one to another. Give it a good stir. This is ready to be placed in the fridge for about 12 hours. The grains have absorbed a lot of water and have nearly doubled in size. You need to give them a good rinse. I am now transferring the grains into a large saucepan with salted water. I am going to leave this to boil for 10 minutes and then simmer for a further 45. At the end of the cooking time the grains should be tender. If not, leave them to simmer a bit longer. The wheat grain is now ready. We need to leave it to cool down. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the dressing. One teaspoon of mustard. Two of vinegar. A bit of salt that is going to melt in contact with the vinegar. And finally the olive oil. Around five teaspoons. The wheat grain is now at room temperature. All is left to do is assemble the ingredients. First the shallots that I finely sliced, then the tomatoes that have been chopped, and the mozzarella cut in small cubes. Give the salad a good stir, then add the basil leaves. I'm cutting them with a pair of scissors. This makes the task much easier. I am now topping the salad with a dressing before giving it another good stir. Check the seasoning and if needs be, add a bit more salt and pepper. This is now ready. Don't hesitate to give me some feedback on YouTube or Facebook. 